Who here is ready for Mexicano? Which is Mexican and Chinese food and a burrito together. I'm going to go ahead and warm these up. And then I am going to cut up some of the chicken. Or the orange chicken. And then we'll go from there. Now that I got the chicken cooking, I've got the the tacos cooking. Now that I got the chicken cooked, I am going to cut it up and I'm gonna do it on this plate so it's less messy. And then I'll put it in the burrito. I'm also gonna put cheese, mixed cheese and taco sauce in with it. Now you can add lettuce, tomatoes, um, rice, whatever you want, any other Chinese food, um, any other Mexican food you want. If you make this dish, let me know and show it to me on Twitter and stuff. You know the drill. Um, ah, and you can cut them however you want the meat to look in the burrito. Or to fit in the burrito, I should say. Be careful, it's a little hot when you're cutting it. Just think of cutting it like you would for a baby or something. I gotta go get the meat here in a minute. And this is the first time I'm making this, so we'll see how good it is. I've made two different kinds of foods, so or cooking hour videos. So if you haven't seen the other one, go see it. If I haven't posted it yet, yell at me. But that's how the meat looks cut up. I'm gonna go get the taco meat and then we'll put the burrito together. I'm sorry that in my last clip you couldn't see much of but my shirt. <laughs> I don't know where to really put this camera so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, maybe, maybe would that work? Maybe. I'm going to put my chicken over here. Maybe put this here. Let's see. I don't know if you can see that, but we're going to get a little bit of cheese and put it on the bottom. Then I'm going to get taco sauce, sprinkle it on the bottom, then I'm going to take my fork and I'm going to put some taco in it without making a mess of course. And then I'm going to take some orange chicken and put that on top. And then I'm going to take a spoon and there's some left. There's some leftover sauce in the pan or in the bowl. So I'm gonna sprinkle some of that on top. Hopefully you can see what I am doing. And now I'm gonna repeat it just a little bit with some cheese on top, of course. Basically, you're layering it. I like to layer, so. Mm -hmm. 
I think that will be it. I'm going to top it off with some cheese to melt it all together. And hopefully it makes a good burrito. If not, then I'll have to cut it up with a knife and fork. I need it. Which will suck. But it'll be worth it. Yep. Made it too big of a burrito. So, I have to use a fork and knife. Which is okay. Because I'm just going to put sauce on it. And cheese and melt it together. With I can get it open. With a package of sweetener. Right there. So I didn't show you what the inside looked like. I was too much in a hurry. But, uh, put this on top. And you're probably wondering why. To sweeten it up. If you have salsa a little sweetener in it or nachos it makes it taste a little better so I'm just going to sprinkle it on top put it in the microwave and it'll be ready to eat well it's all melted and ready to go let's see if I can cut into it so I can take a bite just for you guys Nice and cheesy. Look at that. Ah. <clears throat> that is really good. Let's see. You can kind of see the inside of it. That was amazing. So this Mexicano was really easy to make really good to me and I enjoyed making this for you guys so I will talk to you guys later. I'm Bunny and Bunny now leave me alone.